Hi, so um, Aubrey, delighted to have you join me. Um, we just wanted to put a message out for people coming to the Longevity Summit Dublin um, next month, a month away now. Um, and while it is an inaugural Longevity Summit Dublin, um, it's part of a lineage of conferences that you've held as well. So maybe you could just explain the history and uh, why Longevity Summit Dublin is an addition to that history. Yeah, I can't overstate how delighted I am that you've been able to help me put this together and uh, really recreate what's been going on for almost the past 20 years. When I first ran a conference of any kind, it was in Cambridge in 2003. And honestly, it was because I felt that I was in the process of transitioning from spending most of my time developing the science of rejuvenation and into um, promulgating it, mm -hmm. not only within the academic community, but more widely. And so I felt, you know, this is the way to do this, especially because it would involve bringing together people whose areas of expertise do not normally feature at the same conference. So it would be, you know, people educating each other as well as meeting each other and so on. And it was an enormous success, um, which was why it became the first of six conferences that I ran in Cambridge um, uh, uh, on alternate years through to 2013. And honestly, you know, if I look back at the people who were there and I look now at the people who are really the major players in the field, there's an enormous overlap. So yeah. I feel very, very proud that I did that and very, very um, keen to keep it going. So after a few years of, I won't call it hiatus, but a different way of doing things in the form of conferences that we ran in California over um, a few years, which were really designed to be more focused on the private sector. And I think really the reason why they weren't as successful as I would have hoped they would be was because we were a couple of years too early for that. Mm -hmm. um, after that, we had the amazing uh, Michael Graver uh, from Germany and his team, who uh, in addition to already being very generous in supporting Sam's Research Foundation philanthropically and in investing in some of our spin-out startups, um, they said, you know, we'd like to run a conference. And essentially it became a revival of the Cambridge series. So mostly um, in the, it focused on nonprofits uh, and on academics, but with a very broad audience of every kind of gifted amateur, if you like, um, you know, uh, people working in very different disciplines. And so it was extremely vibrant. It was very much a recreation of Cambridge. And every year that it ran, it ran, it ran annually rather than biannually. Um, it was, you know, a huge delight for me. So, of course, that was brought to a you know, juddering halt by COVID, same as every other conference series in the world. Yeah. And um, so now, of course, is when in-person conferences are finally beginning to happen again. And I have to say, I am really, you know, I, ca I, can't, I can't praise you too much for your doggedness in sticking with the creation of a conference that had never, that was not part of a prior series, because that's harder, that's a lot harder than, um, than, than just, you know, recreating something. And so, yeah, I mean, now we're in a position where this conference is, you know, shaping up to be very much, you know, the third instar, as as an uh, entomologist might say, of, um, <clears throat> of, of, of this series. And I am delighted to be throwing everything I've got at making sure that that happens. It looks like it's, gonna, well, it is going to have a fantastic program, which, of course, is online right now. Uh, and furthermore, of course, it's going to have a fantastic um, list of delegates. And it's in Dublin, which is very important. One distinctive feature of my conferences has always been the recreation, the um, informal interactions. And, you know, Dublin is definitely, you know, has a well-deserved reputation for being quite good at that. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, what's not to like? It's going to be fantastic. Super. Super. Listen, we can't wait to have you. And uh, thanks very much for giving us that background and lineage to this conference. Um, and see you in a month. Absolutely. Thanks, Aubrey.